astrophysicist Hakim Olusei. Hakim Artemis 1 is a test flight ahead of manned missions to outer space. Now, we heard that engineers are collecting data, but what data are NASA engineers looking for as they investigate this scrub launch? Yeah, so this particular problem that they're looking at right now is associated with one of the engines, right? So um, there's many things that you have to do to make these engines run. The fuel that they use, for example, is really, really cold. So instead of just putting that fuel in there, you want to cool the engine off first. So one of the big problems they had was that the engine wasn't coming to the right temperature. You don't want that shock. Um, and so the other thing is just the integrity of the vehicle. There was a um, this line of ice that they thought could be due to a crack in um, one of the the boosters there, and that, of course, could be completely catastrophic if it were, were true. They think it wasn't a crack and has been mediated, but they just want to make sure that they look at all the data that's coming out of the, the, the rockets. And, and I can't say exactly what that is, but with an instrument like this, it's incredibly big, it's incredibly complex. So, um, you know, it's probably more than just the mundane. And if and when Artemis goes as planned, can you explain what Geo called the cosmic slingshot? What does this flight path look like? Yeah, so orbital dynamics are not the same like taking an airplane to somewhere on Earth, right? So what happens is, first you put the, the, the rocket in orbit about Earth. Now, when you want to reach Mars, excuse me, when you want to reach the moon, what you do is you just change that orbit. You make it much more elliptical and you make it so that when the rocket reaches the peak of its trajectory, then it is at the moon. And so at that point, you basically set up a very long elliptical path rather than a more circular path around the Earth. But the same thing that happens on Earth happens in space as regards gravity and speed. As it leaves the Earth's atmosphere, as it leaves Earth's orbit, it's going to be going at 25,000 miles per hour. But as it goes toward the moon, it's going to lose speed the entire way. But then when it comes around and comes back to Earth, it's going to gain speed the entire way. So it's going to slam into Earth's atmosphere, again, going at 25,000 miles per hour. Most of us are familiar with the idea that if you jump into water from a very high height, the water becomes like concrete, like ground, because of the speed at which you hit it. It behaves completely differently. Well, the atmosphere does the exact same thing. And what's important here is that we're going to have people inside these crafts. So there's a lot of data to be collected while they're going through space. When you exit the atmosphere in the magnetic field of Earth, you're subjected to all the radiation of space that's coming from the sun, the supernovae, the, the, the black holes. So those mannequins that are in there are covered with sensors to understand the radiation environment and also understand the shocks they're going to receive. All right, let's hope Munikin comes back in one piece now. Uh, with, these Ar with this Artemis mission, it is unmanned. Later Artemis missions, they hope to, as you mentioned, have astronauts on board. But what will the journey be like for them? Will it be similar to the Apollo missions? Well, it is similar to the Apollo missions, only they have a, a more comfortable capsule <laughs> that they're going to uh, be in. And so, you know, the people who are our seniors, for, for scientists like me, the, my senior scientists, when I was in training, I'm in my mid-50s, they were people who actually were part of the early space program. And they would talk to us about what things were like then and how our calculators today have more power than the computers on an Apollo rocket, right? Well, guess what? Our computers have been massively upgraded since then, and we've learned a lot. So everything that we've learned is going to go into this. But as far as the wonder, as far as the adventure, as far as the danger goes, right, it's only increased since the area of the Apollo. Wow, that's an important note to make. Astrophysicist Hakim Olusei, thank you so much for that. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.